Well, welcome back to the Red Mel Show, brought to you by Intercourse. No, <laughs> talk about Intercourse. Okay, you guys, look what I got. I, I Red, she comes Red in. She's like, no, she's got you got the new. Bag. Mm -hmm. So she's brought me. Sassy, I love Intercourse. So I'm gonna put all my big stuff in here when I go to the lair. <laughs> and I'm gonna walk around with I love Intercourse. And then we're going to get a picture taken of this with um, with our unknown cameraman. We're going to put this on his guy. head. We're gonna, he's going to. He's, this is his. his going to be his elegant attire. His, oh, okay. Yeah, he, that's the black tie. Yeah, this is when he's going to have sex. Ooh. This will be when our unknown cameraman has sex. And speaking of sex, I seen and played on Saturday night. Yay! I had a good time. Thank God, because you know, my little subby boy took a beating, and I was in, I was playing with him. And I took out the dreaded rubber bands. And people looked at me and go, ha, ha, rubber bands. <laughs> rubber bands. And he still has the fucking marks. Rubber bands make it look like it's a single tail. Because mm -hmm. they're a lot of fun. When you're traveling and you're going to go on an airplane and you have a submissive with you or a slave and you can't bring on your toys, bring rubber bands. Because you can take and put them on there. You, if you take and put them on in rows, and then you, you can sing songs, go do, 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 do. And then if they have hairy arms, <coughs> then you can just go, and it catches all the hair. Yes, it does. And he said to me on, on Sunday, because I had him call in and tell me how he was doing, and he said to me on Sunday, he goes, um, I, they hurt a lot more this time. I go, yeah, because I did them harder. <laughs> but, you know, we've been talking about paradise and, and intercourse. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a contest. We're, we're going to do a phone call right now, okay? And what we're going to, we got two prizes here, okay? The first prize, it's, um, it's a screaming O, buddy. It's a little vibrator. This is for your clitty. Or this is for the tip of your big pee pee. So we're gonna take this and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be getting <coughs> having a contest. So what we're gonna be doing is this. Okay, for the first person. Now you got to hear the question before before you call in. Okay, and if you, and if you call before I finish reading all the questions, all the answers, then nah, you're out. <laughs> and if you won last week, you can't call into this week. Okay. How many blue balls are there in Pennsylvania? Number one, one. one. Number two, 20,000. Number three, five. Number, two, number four, two. So if you know that answer, please call us at 818-731-7942. We'd love to know how many blue balls there are. <coughs> oh, here we go. Hello, it's Rev Mel. You're on the air. Hey, it's Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Did how many blue balls? I think there's two, so I'm going with the answer number four. You won. Did you? Yeah, <laughs> thank, yeah. Did you win last week? No, it was two weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> I know. I still got to bring you your T-shirt. That you? No, that was from the Orpheus show. Yeah, and that was two weeks ago. Yeah, thank you. You won, baby. Congratulations. All right. And he's going to be really upset when I show the next prize. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, UJ, you can't win. Too okay. bad. This is the next prize, but we're not going to do this right now. We're going to do this in the fourth segment. This is a bad motherfucker. This, feel this. It looks like fun. That, that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, so we, we're going to have you call. Yeah. Oh yeah. This was made by Disciple. It was given to us, um, you know, and we, we hope that he makes a, one of those or two of those for the play bag that we're going to be giving away uh, for the person that uh, invites the most people to join TSR. I could use this on my subby. This would be great on his butt. It would leave great marks and it's got a great sound. It does. I like this. It really does. And if you put a condom on this, you could use it as a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> dual purpose. Eh? Yeah, dual purpose. Or a rolling pin. You know? <laughs> we could take this to Intercourse, Pennsylvania and sell it as a black rolling pin. There you go. You know? <laughs> so they got a lot of food there. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So is that Absolutely all? everywhere. So is they're all 
how can they have a lot? Do they? Do they? Do they? Uh, I mean, is there a lot of anorexic girls in? in, in oh the no, forest? no, no. There, there's not a lot of skinny people in that section of Pennsylvania. The because skinny it's very big on German, Amish, Dutch cooking. It's Ooh. everywhere. Potatoes. Smorgasbords. Smor <gasps> Smorgasbord. D yes. Oh wow. It's bad. Boy, then we half, don't go there to eat. Then half of the half half of the girls that are here in Los Angeles would be up Schitt's Creek there. Pretty much. Yeah. They'd yeah. go there skinny, they'd come back, not so much. Schitt's Creek is really good. So you'd be up Schitt's Creek, right? Without a paddle. Oh, but not if you shop in Intercourse, because, you know, they have a t-shirt, Schitt's Creek Paddle Company. <laughs> what? They, they have a... Okay, I guess you won't be up Schitt's Creek without a paddle. <laughs> Paddles are always available in Intercourse for those who make it a regular thing to go up Schitt's Creek. Wow. So do they have any like colleges or universities there or is there anything that they have at, you know? They have a lot of real ones, but yeah. when you're souvenir shopping in Intercourse, you can find anything. Yeah. So they have t-shirts, sweatshirts, mm -hmm. tote bags, all made up with Intercourse University on them in big collegiate letters so that you can walk around and so it's IU parade your <laughs> your sexual prowess to the world or it's fuck you <laughs> yeah it's, it's fuck, fuck you, you university and intercourse <laughs> I really I when she told me she was moving to to this <laughs> strange place we, we she was it was when I had my co-host Tony and right. she called in and we spent 45 minutes Laughing, laughing about the city and I said to her I says when you come back you need to bring photographs and you need to tell me all about because okay. nobody believed me that this stuff was real well I understand you do you do have Walmart's though we do have Walmart's and with yeah. horse and buggy Amish parking outside so they have it's it's they have the area where you can take your horse and your cart and just park oh, and enclosed it's it's got a roof over it and, and a back it's like a giant garage for horse and buggies Wow. Fully equipped with rakes, shovels, and garbage cans so what? the Amish can clean up after their horses before they leave. So you got, <laughs> you got to clean up your horse shit before you leave? Pretty much. And will you get fined? I have no idea. Will, will you get hit by them? I try not to stick around to find out. Then you'd be up Schitt's Creek without a paddle. Without a paddle. <laughs> but then again, they're not in intercourse, so they can't buy the paddle. <laughs> If you're in the chat room and you have any questions about Paradise Intercourse Fertility, Blue Balls, I love that name, Blue Balls, please call us at 818-731-7942. Or if you have a statement that you'd like to make, if you've ever visited these cities. In fact, it was really amazing because last night, last night at the poker game, you knew somebody from that area. Well, I didn't. I but, did not know that you was know. originally from, from the neighboring county. Yeah. But found out, so... It's nice to know that there's other people out there who can substantiate the stories that this stuff actually exists. So I can imagine you're writing a letter. You just moved to Intercourse, Pennsylvania, and you're writing a letter. Dear Mom and Dad, <laughs> I'm writing from Intercourse. I just went over to Blue Balls. Had dinner in Burdenham. <laughs> And, and rented a ro motel room in paradise. <laughs> and I went to the outhouse and had some fudge. fudge. <laughs> Was curious, so I went to the curiosity shop in Virginville. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck! <laughs> Don't break anything there, no, really. But yes, it's. <laughs> Polka dots on the road, because, you know, people are too stupid to drive. <laughs> Signs in the middle of the road to remind you not to run over the pedestrians in the crosswalk. And then the, Which is funny, because a friend of ours who moved back with us has uh, almost gotten run over four times in the crosswalk. By they gun for you. Horse and carriage? No, by people in cars. They literally gun for you. It's like you get extra points or something if, if you hit somebody trying to cross the road. Okay. What about, what, 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 what about passing rules? You're on the highway, you got a horse and cart. And you're behind it. Can you go around it? You can, if there isn't traffic coming the other way. But won't that scare the poor horsey? They're, they don't. 
they're so used to it, it doesn't even phase them anymore. Wait. But you're imagining highways uh -huh. like we have out uh -huh. here. Yeah. And that doesn't exist back there. So how far is this? Your 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 quote unquote highways and freeways have red lights. Don't they have ha the toll roads? <laughs> they got toll roads. <laughs> toll roads. You take a horse and a cart on a toll road? No, you can't. You can't. It's that's illegal to do. So if well, that's you, discrimination. If you want to guarantee that you're not going to run into a horse and buggy anywhere in Lancaster County, then you need to take the toll road. Other than that, they have free reign to ride where they want. Wow. Okay. Now this is a really important question. We're all dying to know this. Mm -hmm. I just know this. Do they have any adult porn stores in any of these cities? <laughs> no. No. These are. They're still villages. They, they don't even have enough of a population to be a town. So they're do still them, on the do, books as a do, village. Do, do any of them own anything that they can put into a slot and watch? <laughs> you know, maybe an old A-track or listen to it or something? You know? Possibly. Wow. Possibly. I mean, there's, there's still areas out there you can't get cable TV. It's not available. What about your you internet? You can't get it. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Your internet, <laughs> you, you have to hope that the phone company has DSL. Wow. So what about BDSM scene? I mean, do you, ha is it, I mean, do, you, do you guys go play in barns? I mean, do you have, I mean. The, the, we don't, but I guess you probably could. Ooh, that'd be kind of. I, I, the way, the landscape back there. Uh-huh. If you were to own one of these farms uh -huh. and have a barn, uh -huh. you could literally do anything you wanted in there and nobody would ever be able to hear you. You could be fucking dead. Um, because these, these things sit on you know 40 to 75 acres so, is one farm. So if you owned that, you could have the party of a lifetime and not a single neighbor's gonna complain. Yeah, but how far is it from a big city? from where I am right now, a big city, uh -huh. Philadelphia, an hour. Oh, that's not bad. So it's not too bad. That's not bad. Um, Michael can't get over the fact that it's country, but not all at the same time. Um, you can drive in, you can drive through the city limits, you know, center city limits within five, six minutes. In, in intercourse or in your city? In where we're at. Yeah. And within two minutes, you are in the middle of nothing but farmland and fields surrounded by woods. And it'll be like that for miles. Wow, you could have some fun. You, you really could. So, do you, do you, is there any play parties? Is there any dungeons that you know of? Any munches? <coughs> I mean, you got enough wood out there, you can make a lot <laughs> of paddles. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've found one munch. We haven't been able to make it yet uh -huh. um, because it is a little bit of a drive for us. It's about an hour. An hour little, to get to About a an hour to get to the nearest munch. Um, there is 